Hi guys, I'm standing right next to the newly launched 2023 Honda City facelift. And for those of you who know, Honda Connect is now available either as standard or as an option across the entire lineup. So let's get right into it. So what is Honda Connect? For those of you who don't know, it is a vehicle telematic system that grants you access to a multitude of functions that you can do with your car through the app. So it's available on both Android and iPhone platforms. The first thing you can do is monitor your car status. So battery level, fuel level and uh, you know, airbag, if it's been deployed or not, you can see all of that here. So 7% fuel level, you have 16 km of range, so blah, 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 stuff like that, you know. You can also start the engine remotely, uh, turn on the lights or unlock your vehicle as you want or as you please through the app. So should you decide to get on board with Honda Connect, uh, you can benefit from this security alarm detection, which basically means that if you are away um, and someone tries to break into your car or steals, I don't know, um, someone you love or some item you have in the car, um, the car will tell you through the app that your vehicle has been broken into. So uh, that's an extra peace of mind. Another thing I personally like is automatic collision detection. So what this does is if you get into an accident and you are rendered immobilized, the car will automatically call your emergency contacts. But uh, bear in mind that these are details that you have to key in yourself manually. So you key in the number of your insurance provider or the uh, emergency contact uh, of your choosing. But for example, if no one is picking up, then the Honda Connect will automatically dispatch assistance uh, by calling either 999 or uh, some other um, emergency hotline. So in the event that you know you get into an accident somewhere far out, uh, press the shirt, it will come to you. But do note that automatic collision detection only comes into effect when the airbag is deployed. But if you find yourself in a situation where you're in an accident but it's less severe than the airbag is not deployed, you have this function, emergency call. Uh, it's also in the app, just whip up your phone, uh, either dial emergency 999 or your uh, emergency contact of your choosing. That's pretty straightforward and this is a completely manual affair. This is, you know, in case uh, you're not pingsan or whatever lah, yeah? And the last feature I want to bring your attention to is geofencing alert. So what this basically means is that you get to set a parameter around a car of your choosing. For example, your house, you can set a perimeter of maybe one or two kilometers and you'll get notified as and when the vehicle enters or leaves this set parameter. So that's an extra uh, security measure for those of you who are either traveling and you're worried about your car being stolen. So this will let you know through the app that your car has left or entered the vicinity. Pretty handy, I think. Quite nice to have, yeah. Now, Honda Connect is standard only on the RS variants, which means if you buy the RS, you don't have to pay, you know, whatever sum. Uh, it is installed straight from the factory when you buy it, so that's all good. But for those who are looking to buy the S, E and V variants, you'll have to pay a pretty decent price. It's uh, going for 1,500 ringgit now for a subscription of three years and that is a promotional price so it's quite a bit discounted from the uh, MSRP so 1500 ringgit for three years SEV you get the full functionalities of Honda Connect and uh, let us know if you are a fan or if you want to get on board because from what I can tell this app is quite the experience but I want to hand it over to you guys if you guys are planning to buy the Honda City would you get this and uh, let us know your thoughts about Honda Connect in the comment section below thank you so much for watching uh, until next time bye bye